start in a comfortable seat. You can elevate the hips if they feel a little tight or if it's difficult to sit tall through the spine directly on the floor. And once you arrive in your posture, allow your shoulders to draw down and back, relaxing away from the ears. And gently close your eyes. Take a moment to let the movement in the eyes settle and the muscles of the face soften and relax. And notice where your spine is in space. Are you leaning a little forward or back? from the pelvis or more to the right or left side. And if so, just subtly adjust so that you feel your spine is long and suspended right over the back of the hips. Visualizing the natural curvatures of the spine. Feel an upward energy from the sacrum all the way out the crown of your head. Gently recruiting the muscles in the lower back to help support this lift. So letting the upper back and shoulders feel relaxed. Scan through the rest of your body, mentally checking in with yourself, acknowledging what you're feeling like this morning, where your body is, and what you need from this posture practice today. Notice where your thoughts are and what your mood is like right now. And then begin to turn your attention to your own breath. Just noticing the rise and fall of each breath in and each breath out. Notice where you expand and where you contract. And start to purposefully slow down the speed of your breath, taking more time to expand the next time you inhale. And more time to contract as you release the breath with the exhalation. Find a slow, steady rhythm. And if you notice that you are wandering off to other thoughts, Maybe repeat, inhale, exhale, or breathe in, breathe out for the next few moments. Really bringing yourself into the body, into the present. Let's take about five more deep breaths 
here. the side, place the sole of the foot on the mat, kind of like 
like in gate pose, and you're going to point your right toes. And we're going to rock the hips back to the right heel, like child's pose, with this left leg out to the side, and then back up to that table. So do that a few times, just rocking the hips back, and then lifting up again. And the next time you sit down on your right heel, rotate your left toes so they point up toward the ceiling and really press the back of that thigh down toward the mat, straighten the leg as much as you can to stretch the left hamstrings. And then three more breaths. Really flex the front of the ankles, squeeze your quads. Feel your thigh and move down toward the ground. The next time you inhale, lift back up and then step your left foot, or knee rather, back to table pose. Other side, step your right leg out to the side of the table, sole the foot on the mat, point your left toes and start to sit down on your left heel like child's pose and then come on back up. So just do that a few times warming up through the knee and the hip joint. And the next time that you sit down on your left heel, stay there. Rotate the right toes up toward the ceiling so you're pressing the heel against the floor out to the side and trying to straighten that leg as best as you can. Good. The next time you inhale, lift back up to table and step that right knee back to the pose. Walk your hands maybe six or seven inches farther forward, tuck your toes and press back and up to full downward facing dog. Separate the feet a few inches apart and press against the palms, lengthening your arms and your spine. Let your head drop so the neck is relaxed. Just notice how the pose feels this morning. What sensations are coming to the body right now? Where do you feel the strongest stretch in the pose? Good. From here, raise your right leg up into the air, three limbed off. Look forward with an exhalation. Step that foot in between your hands. High lunge. Deep bend in your front knee. Strong and straight through that leg. Good. Let's let the upper body rest on the right thigh and bring your hands to the waist. Good. Lengthen your spine. Feel the crown of the head stretch forward and squeeze your shoulder blades back. Good. And then lift your ribcage an inch off of the thigh, hovering above the leg. Reach your arms back, squeezing the shoulders together, just like locust pose. And then on an inhalation, sweep the arms forward, lift your spine from the balance and high press and lunge. And a steady breath, find a single focal point. The next time you exhale, put your left hand down, right arm stays up, spinal twist. Rotate all the way up. You can look up at the thumb if that's comfortable or somewhere else if that's too much rotation for your neck. And look down, exhale the right hand to the floor and step to plank pose. Right foot back, bring the feet and legs together, shoulders over your palms. Five deep breaths. With your last exhalation, slowly lower all the way to the ground. Point your toes, inhale to a low or a high cobra. Exhale and let it go. Twice more, inhale, roll up, open the chest, exhale, let go. Once more, inhale, and exhale, release. 
Inhale, push back up to your knees. Exhale, the hips back and up, down dog. Adjust your feet as you need to. Take a few breaths here. And on an inhalation, raise your left leg up. Look forward, exhale, step the foot in between your hands, high lunge. Then engage your back leg. And let your upper body rest on the right thigh. Bring your hands to your waist and squeeze your shoulder blades and elbows back. Good, really strong in the back leg. And then lift your ribcage an inch off of the thigh, lengthen your spine. Good, feel that left hip flexor working. Let's reach the arms back, squeezing the shoulders together like locust pose. And then inhale, sweep the arms forward and up, lifting the spine, finding your balance. High crescent lunge. The next time you exhale, take the right hand down, find that spinal twist. Rotate from the navel up, active through both arms. Good, look down, exhale, left hand to the floor, step to plank pose, feet and legs together. Let's take five steady breaths, draw your navel in, squeeze your quads, your inner and outer thighs. One more breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, release, down dog. Good, let go through the neck. Take just a few breaths here. Really stretch through the back of the legs. Extend your spine. And then on an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's stay here a few breaths. Feel the weight of your pose. Go for the balls of the feet. Back of the hips lifting up toward the ceiling. And place the hands against the shins. Inhale to the flat back position and hold here. Feel the shoulder blades glide back, hip joints go back, and extend your spine forward nice and long. Good, hold the posture and bring the hands to the waist. On an exhalation, press the hips forward to stand all the way upright. Good, make sure you're toward the very front of your mat, and we'll come through a few rounds of Sun Series A. On an inhalation, reach up, Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale deeply. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, take your time moving to downward facing dog. Spread the fingers widely and press against the palms. One more breath in, look forward. Exhale, step to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up and reach overhead. Exhale, release. Second round. Inhale, begin. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank. Take a breath in, exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, make your way to down dog.
On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release. Last round, inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Good, steady, smooth breath. On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up and reach overhead. Exhale, release. Let's take Sun Series B. Stand with the feet together. We'll start with chair pose. Inhale, sit back and extend the arms. Exhale, dive forward and fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale deeply. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. From down dog, raise your right leg. Inhale, exhale, step the foot through. Ground your back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Let's take a few breaths. Find that rotation of the hips as you lift the back knee and bend deeply into the front knee. On an exhalation, hands down, lift your back heel. Inhale, go to plank, or you can skip this and come to down dog. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, Cobra or up dog. Exhale, make your way to down dog. From down dog, raise your left leg. Inhale. Exhale, step the foot through. Ground your back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Slow, deep breath. The next time you exhale, hands down, back heel up. Inhale, vinyasa or downward facing dog. If you're moving through, exhale and lower. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to down dog. Take three more breaths here in down dog. The next time you inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, feet together. Bend your knees. Inhale, come to chair pose. Exhale, stand and release your arms. Okay, let's take the feet a little wider apart than hip width. Turn the feet out slightly. Let's take the hands behind the back, interlace your fingers, or you can use a strap here. Let's extend the arms behind the back and open the chest. Inhale, lift your ribcage. Exhale, bend your knees slightly, fold forward. And your hips back, upper body forward and down. Good. Let the arms lift up away from your spine. Stay in your forward bend. We're going to exhale and lower the arms. Separate the hands and let the arms hang down. Good. From here, bend the knees and sit your hips way down. Find a squat. If you need to adjust your feet, go ahead. Well, hopefully that wider stance and the turnout is 
where you need to be. Bring your elbows to the inside of the knees and press the palms together in front of the heart as you lift and lengthen your spine. See if you can feel the weight of the pose move into the heels more. Tailbone low as the spine lifts up. Take three more breaths. Good. Exhale. Drop your hands to the floor and tuck the chin to the chest. Lift your hips and come to a forward bend. Toe heel the feet a little closer together. Good. If your hands aren't, excuse me, if they're not touching the mat, bend your knees a little bit more. Step your left leg all the way back to a lunge position. And then bring that knee down to the floor. Low lunge. Let's just sink down into the hips here. Make sure your front knee is aligned over that ankle. And we're going to inhale, rise up to a low crescent lunge. Lift up through the ribcage and chest and draw the arms back slightly. Good. Let's exhale, bring the palms together in front of the heart, prayer position. We're going to twist to the right, so rotate from your navel up the spine. Cross your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. And then really push your top hand into the bottom hand to help you twist more up your spine. Feel your right shoulder blade glide back as you rotate. Good. Deep, deep breath. And you can stay in the low lunge, or if you want to challenge your balance here, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up to the high lunge. Good. If you lifted the back knee, slowly return it to the floor. Let's all uncross the elbow, come out of that twist, and place the hands on the mat. Go, let's take both arms inside the right foot. Move that foot over an inch or two and turn it out, and let that knee fall away from your shoulder. Good. Stay nice and low in your hips. You can feel free to add a little rocking motion if that feels good, or you can bring your elbows down to blocks or the floor. Few more breaths here. And if you're down on your elbows, come on back up to the hands. Let's move the right foot over even more so you've got space to plant your palms shoulder width apart. Lift your back knee up to a high lunge, contract your core, and step that foot back. Plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Good, take five breaths here. And we'll come into that lunge directly from here for the other side. So look forward, step your left foot up in between your hands and lower your right knee to the floor. Low lunge. Take a moment just to settle, sink down into your hips. And then on an inhalation, rise up, reach through the arms, lengthen your spine. Draw the arms back slightly, little upper back bend here. Good, and then let's exhale, bring the palms together in front of the heart, prayer position. Twist to the left, rotate from your belly button, then cross your right elbow to the outside of your left knee, and your top hand is gonna really push down against the bottom hand. It's gonna give you more leverage to rotate through the upper back and glide your left shoulder blade back. Good, nice deep, deep breath. You can stay in the low lunge, or if you like, tuck your back toes, lift that knee up, High lunge. 
Good. If you lift the back knee, let's carefully bring it to the floor again. And then we're all going to come out of the twist. Good. Hands to the ground. Let's take both arms inside of the left foot. Move it over an inch or two and turn it out. And then let the thigh and knee fall away from your shoulder. So really getting into that outer hip or external rotators here. And again, if it feels good to rock a little, do that. Or you can lower your elbows to blocks or the floor if you want a deeper stretch if your hips are quite open already. And just breathe here. Notice how this side feels compared to the previous side. Where is the greatest sensation in your body right now? Good. If you're down on your elbows, come on back up to the hands. And let's just scoop this foot out even wider so you can plant your palms in line for plank pose. Lift your back knee up and then strong core. Step the left foot back. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Five deep breaths. One more breath in, look forward. Exhale, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach overhead. Exhale, release your arms. So let's step the left foot back and come into triangle pose. If you like to use blocks for this one, have them on the right side of your mat. Find that nice wide space between the feet, strong straight legs, and open the arms out to the sides. Good, rock your hips back in space and bring your upper body forward. Find that length in the right side of the ribs before you pivot your arms. Right hand down, left arm up. Good, roll the left side of the rib cage back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Deep, deep breath. And the next time you exhale, draw your navel in and lift yourself back up. Good, let's bend the right knee deeply, warrior two. Get low in that front leg. Strong and straight through the back leg as you actively reach the arms apart. Good, go just a little deeper in the front leg and then reverse the arms, left arm down, right arm up. Exhale and lean back, side bend as you reach the right arm over your face toward whatever is behind you. Good. Keep breathing deeply. And on an inhalation, take it back to warrior two. Exhale, hands to the floor. Lift your back heel up and step to downward facing dog. Take a breath in and look forward. Exhale, walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up, reach overhead. Exhale, release your arms. Good, other side, left foot forward, right foot back. Find that wide space between the feet. Strong and straight legs. Let's open the arms. Send the hips back and knee your upper body forward, reach, 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 and then pivot your arms, left hand down, right arm up. Feel your right rib cage roll back. Good. 
to keep the breath smooth and steady. A few more. And then use your exhalation. Draw the navel in. Contract your core to lift up. Good. Bend the left knee deeply. Warrior two pose. That low in the front leg. And keep the back leg strong and long. And go just a little lower in the front leg. Reverse the arms. Right arm down, left arm up. And then exhale, lean back. Reverse warrior two. Stretch through that left side as you reach the arm over your face. And inhale, return to warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Lift your back heel and step to down dog again. Good. Let your head drop. Take five breaths here. And then let's walk the hands back to the feet. So take several steps to come to a forward bend at the back of your mat. And bring your upper body as close to the thighs as you can. So bend the knees if you need. And wrap your forearms behind your calves and hold the back of the ankles, just hugging the upper body to the legs. Release the arms, let them hang down. Bend the knees pretty deeply. Draw your belly button in and slowly roll up through your spine one vertebra at a time until you are standing again. Then roll the shoulders a few times. All right, we're going to come into a squat one more time, and this time take some variations. You can come kind of to the middle of your mat. Let's turn the feet out slightly, spacing the feet as you need for a squat, and then bend the knees and sit down through the hips again. You bring the elbows to the inner thighs, palms pressing together as you lift the chest and lengthen your spine. Good. Keep widening the knees away from each other. You just feel how that activates your outer hips and glutes. Good, and then bring your hands to the floor. Round your upper back and let your head drop, bringing some traction through the spine. Feel your shoulder blades separate apart. Good, from here, sweep your left arm out to the side and try and connect the left knee to the outside of your left shoulder here. Lean against that point and then open your right arm up toward the ceiling, chest opening. So I'm really leaning back into my left knee here. Good. If this is enough for you, you can stay here. If you're comfortable with binding postures, wrap the top arm around your back and then reach your left hand behind you and see if you can connect. So binding around that left leg. And if this is not for you or if you need a break from your squat, feel free to carefully come out. You can come to a forward bend, take a rest if you need. But if you are in the bind, carefully release and re-extend the arms. And then let's take the right hand back down, bring the left hand in. Good, just pause. If you're comfortable staying here, just take a moment. If you need to come out, do what you need to do and return to your squat when you're ready. So for that other side, I'm gonna come to the rounded back position. So I'm dropping my head, trying to get my shoulders lower than the knees. And then sweep the right arm out to the side and connect the outside of the right shoulder or armpit to the inside of the right knee. And then lean into that point as we now rotate. Reach the left arm up, open your chest. Good, keep breathing here. Just be wherever you are in your body in the progress of this pose. 
If you're trying to have fun, wrap your top arm around your back and then take your right hand, reach around the leg and try and clasp the hands together. So you're binding around your right knee and shin. Good, if you're in that bind, slowly release and re-extend your arms. And then let's take the left hand back down, bring both hands onto the mat. Slowly lift your hips up out of this squat, toe heel the feet closer together, and just hang over your legs here in a forward bend. Good, let your neck feel loose, make sure you're not pulling the head. And then from here, we're just going to walk it out to down dog. So walk the hands forward, the feet back. Good. And let's take a three-legged dog from here. Raise your left leg up. Open the hip and bend the knee, letting the heel fall toward your hips. Stretching the psoas and the hip flexors. Good, slowly release. Other side, raise your right leg up and then open the hip to the side, bend the right knee, letting the heel fall. And then release, step that foot down. Let's bring the knees to the floor and take child's pose. You can take a wide version or knees together, whichever you prefer. Once you settle into the pose, let's close the eyes here and take five to ten breaths. Just noticing how you feel in your body right now. That squat position was really deep for the hips and the knees. So I want to come through a sequence that's going to stretch the quads, the psoas, and the hip flexors. So whenever you're ready, you're going to come to lie face down on the floor. So just transition yourself there however you like. And we're just going to start with a simple quad stretch. Support your left fore or your forehead with your left forearm here so that you can breathe facing down. Bend your right knee and reach back for the top of the foot or the ankle, whatever you can hold here. And guide that heel closer to your hips, stretching in front of the thigh. If you're not feeling a stretch, squeeze your glutes and press your pelvis into the floor. That can give you a little more intensity. Or you can hover that thigh up off of the mat a little bit here as you hold the foot. That can also give you a little more length in the stretch. Good, let's release, switch sides, right forearm is going to support your head, bend your left knee and reach back, hold the foot or the heel, whatever you can reach, as you bring that heel closer to the hip. You're going to make any of those subtle adjustments if you're not feeling a strong enough stretch, either tucking the tailbone or hovering the left thigh slightly off the mat. And then breathe against the floor. Good. Let's release. Let that one go. Let's put the forehead directly on the mat and reach the arms alongside the body. We're going to come into locust pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, the legs together, and then lift everything up off of the mat. Nice, low, deep breath. The next time you inhale, lift everything a bit higher, and then exhale, release to the floor. Turn your head to one side and just relax. Let your shoulders melt into the ground.
And then we'll take this a second time when you're ready. Squeeze your legs together, forehead down, roll your shoulder blades back, and then lift everything up. If you want a little challenge for the upper back, you can take the arms out to the side like airplane wings, or point the thumbs up toward the ceiling and reach the arms in front of you. One more breath in, lift everything higher, and exhale, let it go. Just relax, face to one side, let every muscle that was just working release. And we'll take this once more. If you want to try a chest opening variation here, you can interlace the hands behind your back or use a strap to connect them. Roll your shoulder blades back and extend your arms. And then lift everything up into locus as you raise the arms up away from your hips. Deep, low belly breath. One more breath in, exhale, let it go. Good, separate your legs a little wider apart than hip width. Bend your knees and drop your feet side to side like windshield wipers, loosening up the lower back. Good. You can bring your feet to the floor, and from here I'm just going to have you carefully turn to your back side, so you can just flip yourself right over, and we're going to take bridge pose. So once you get settled there, bend your knees and plant your feet underneath the knees, and just pause for a moment to let your back adjust. And then when you're ready for bridge, let's gather the shoulder blades together underneath you, Press against your feet, hands, and forearms, and lift your hips and your spine as high as you can. Feel your breath expand into the space around your body. One more breath in. And exhale, roll everything down. Good. Once the hips touch the ground, separate your shoulders and let your back relax. And we're going to come into this twice more. So when you're ready, bring the shoulder blades close together again. Just tuck them under and lift up into bridge. Maybe you can do that shoulder adjustment once again. Now that you're up in the pose, if it's comfortable, you can clasp the hands together underneath you and press the fist into the mat. And really tuck your tailbone forward toward the knees. Get as much length in the front of the hip flexors and the quads as you can. Take one more breath in, and exhale, roll down, separate the hands if they were connected, and let your back relax. A couple of breaths. And last time, when you're ready, get the shoulder blades together and lift up into bridge. See if you can make one more shoulder adjustment or connect the hands.
One more breath in. And exhale. Let it go. Separate the shoulders. Gonna take a few breaths here into the mat. Let every muscle that was just active start to soften here, including the hamstrings and the glutes. And separate your feet about as wide as your mat and drop the knees back and forth side to side like windshield wipers. Just let this motion be really fluid. Allow it to rock your pelvis. And the next time that the knees drop to the left side of your mat, let them stay down there. Press the inside of your right knee lower to the ground. And then raise your right arm up and over your head away from that hip, lengthening the whole right side. Exaggerate the inhalation phase of your breath to help enhance that upper psoas lengthening. Last breath in, and exhale, release. Pick your knees up. Good. Keep the wide space between the feet and drop the knees to the right. Press the inside of your left knee lower to the ground and reach your left arm up and over your head away from the hip. Deep, low breath. To release, slowly bring your knees back together. Let's hug the knees to the upper body. You can wrap your arms around the legs. And just start to rock a little bit side to side, massaging your lower back and the back of the hips. And then rock your knees around in a wide circle a couple of times in each direction. And you can let that circling stop. Let's keep the right knee here. Slide your left leg down on the mat. Each time you exhale, just allow that knee to move toward your body. 
not by pulling, but just because the breath is helping to deepen the hip flexion. Good. From here, we're going to come to reclined pigeon. You've got two options. One is either bending your left knee and setting the ankle to the thigh, the way we often do this pose in the beginning as a warm up, or with your left leg straight, open the right knee out to the side like pigeon pose and hold the foot with your left hand and the knee with your right hand. Or you could come up and kind of do a baby cradle. You could put the foot in the left elbow and wrap your right arm around the leg and hold that close to you. You may or may not be able to lie down if you're doing the baby cradle. So for me, that's a little much to rest my back on the floor, but I'm comfortable here. I just need to make sure to support your neck, so tuck your chin and keep your core active. Okay, but if this is not comfortable, lie down and use the hand at the foot and the knee instead of the baby cradle. One more deep breath in, and then exhale. Just release whatever version of the pose you're in, and let your right leg come down to the floor. Good. If you need to adjust your hip position, go ahead. I want you to feel like you're well aligned with the hips below the shoulders. And then bring your left knee to your chest. We're going to hold here a few breaths. Just letting that exhalation be what guides the leg closer to your upper body. And then when you're ready, we're going to set up for reclined pigeon. Either the version that you know from warm-ups, ankle to thigh, or let's take it fully on the back. Open the knee out to the side, reach for the heel with your right hand, and guide that foot toward you. Just as if you were doing pigeon the regular way, face down on the floor. So the same angle of the knee. And if you want to try the baby cradle, bring the foot into the right elbow and wrap your left arm around the rest of the leg hugging it toward your upper body. Wherever you are, just start to release the posture. Let that leg slide down on the mat. Adjust your hips if they don't feel centered below you. And just shake the back of the legs against the floor a few times. Let go of some of that intensity from the hip flexors. Good. And then I want to finish up with a few seated poses. So let's bend the knees. Just roll to one side of your body and press yourself up. If you practice seated poses with some support, you can go ahead and get that underneath your hips. And we're going to take seated forward bend, nose to knee pose. Straighten your right leg, or excuse me, yeah, right leg out to the front, left knee out to the side. So the foot to the inner thigh here. Take your hands on either side of the straight leg, press against the floor at the fingertips, and lift up tall as you actively reach through the right heel. And feel a little bit of a spinal twist. Before we go forward, you're trying to rotate your belly button toward the straight leg. Good. Tuck your chin to the chest and exhale. Lean your upper body forward. Walk your arms out and hold wherever the hands meet at the leg. And if you have any discomfort in your back or your hamstring is really tight, Modify the pose by bending the knee a little bit more or take more support underneath your hips.
When you're ready, come out, inhale, and lift upright. Good, switch legs, straighten the left leg in front of you, fold the right knee out to the side, sole the foot to the inner thigh. Take your hands on the floor on either side of your straight leg, push against the mat, and lift up through your spine. You feel your belly button rotate toward your straight leg a little bit. It's just a little hint of a twist. Good, tuck your chin to the chest, exhale, lean forward, Walk your arms out and hold at whatever point on the leg they reach. When you're ready to come out, inhale and lift up. We're going to stay with this side. Just bring your right knee up and the sole of the foot close to the hip. So hug the shin in toward you. Your left leg is still straight in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to take a seated twist here. Raise your right arm, inhale. Pull the bent knee toward you as you twist to the right and then put the right hand down behind the back. And if you like, you can bring this knee into the left elbow, a little tighter clasp here. Or you can cross the elbow to the outside of the knee and press against it to help you twist higher into the other back. One more deep breath in, and exhale, and out of the twist, straighten your right leg in front of you, bend your left knee in toward you, and place that foot on the floor close to your hip. Good, sit up nice and tall. Let's inhale, raise the left arm up, exhale, pull against the knees, you twist to the left, and put the hand down behind you. Good, and again, you can adjust the way you're holding the knee if that gives you a better twist either into the bend of the elbow or crossing the elbow outside the knee if you like. And one more deep breath in. Exhale. Unwind. Good. Final pose here. Just a regular forward bend. Extend both of your legs out in front of you. Take your hands to either side of your hips on the floor and press against the mat to sit tall in staff pose preparation. You could also use a strap if you like doing that with the strap around the feet. Same idea, just lengthening your spine before we go forward. If you have the strap, you can pull against it and come into your fold. If you don't, inhale, reach up through the arms. Exhale, lean forward and hold wherever the hands land. Tuck the chin gently toward your chest and start to expand your breath into your sides and into your back. Take three more breaths. And then inhale, slowly roll up. 
Okay, let's get comfortable on the back for Shavasana, final relaxation. So take your time lowering your body to the floor. If you like to support the body with props in this pose, get your mat set up how you like. Once you're on your back, just give your body a chance to settle. Maybe start with your knees bent. Let your spine or your cage settle into the floor. Let your hips feel heavy. And then when you're ready to fully extend, slide the legs down. And gently close your eyes. Take a moment to scan through your body. Just noticing if there's any part of you that's still holding on to active physical energy. And if there is, just keep your attention on that part of the body and try and let it gradually release with the exhalation phase of the breath. Let yourself go sinking into the floor. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And feel your lower jaw release and let your throat and tongue relax as you resume your normal breathing pattern. So no longer breathing any deeper or slower than you typically would. Just enjoy these few minutes of deep rest for your body and your mind.
slowly bring your attention back to the surface and lengthen your breath. And in your own time, move a little bit through the fingers and the toes, just starting to wake up your body. And take any other movement or stretch that would feel good to you right now. And eventually roll over to one side. Just curl up into a fetal pose and pause there for a moment, noticing how you feel right now. And then come upright whenever you're ready. Find a comfortable seat with the eyes closed. And once you are sitting, feel that upward energy through the spine again. Lift and lengthen. Let the shoulders draw down as you open across the chest and breathe deeply, waking up the body. And we'll end our practice chanting OM one time. You can bring the palms together in front of the heart and take a deep breath in. Oh. Thank you.